Hello again guys and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. This is Nick and today we are looking at a puzzle platformer called 8-Bit Night. Now this is a sort of a, like a... I would call it like a fusion between the gameplay styles of Load Runner and Fez. And the basic goal has you just collecting these little pixel bits here. As you can see them floating up above me. Uh, but the, bi the, the big deal in the, I should say, the gimmick in this case, is that you can rotate the world along the central axis that you can see behind my character right there. Now the axis doesn't always go vertically, sometimes it goes horizontally, and that can result in some, I'll call them hijinks. Yeah. Uh, so you'll see on the left side of the screen, my shadow self is where I will end up when I flip. And you can use that offensively or defensively, usually just to progress through levels, but sometimes you get to run away from stuff. And there's little signs here to let you know what to do. In this case, I picked up a couple of pickaxes, so we're going to go and we're going to do a little spelunkying. Flip, for no reason. Introducing skulls. Stupid skulls! Never mind. <laughs> Game is sort of a silly sense of humor, it's fun. So, uh, yeah, don't get hit by the skulls or you die, and dying's not a very big deal in this game because you just start back at the same level again. Uh, but let's use our flipping skills defensively in this case. Like that. Now they can't get me. What are you doing here, stranger? Go, go, go! Well, don't go right there because you'll fall off the level. Oh. Alright, let's just get through this now. So as you progress, the game gets more and more difficult, as most puzzle platformers do. Let's see what this guy says. I always finish the level before talking to him. We can't run because we don't have a running animation. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Uh, but yeah, it, it adds more and more complex features as we go on. This level, we're checking out these little handles to hold onto the walls with. Not particularly complex there, but it gets there. There's some uh, TNT, there's... These little hand-holdy zipline thingies to walk across. The uh, the way that the levels get broken up get more complicated. And it's got a very cool aesthetic, doesn't it? Everything's sort of got a low... Low-level, sort of like... Neon, vibrating kind of glow. Which reminds me a lot of the... Hollow material, I think it's called, from Little Big Planet 2. The thing you design all your retro UIs in. And I think it's pretty cool how everything looks two-dimensional, but is actually three-dimensional. So this one we actually flip on the vertical. And we also have vastly reduced jumping ability to uh, encourage us to suck less. Oh yeah, and if you flip in a spot where you're not really supposed to flip, like see where my shadow is? If I flip here, I hit the wall, just go back. So yeah, that's what happens with that. So let's flip in a place we can actually be useful and pick up some nug nubbits, nuggets, whatever you want to call them, nubbits. I like that. And then flip there. And I should probably have done that correct the first time, but I didn't, so let's do it again. Flip, get, win. Uh, nothing too complicated here, except we've got Shadow Nuggets, which I actually can only pick up with my Shadow Self. Kind of a cool twist, I guess. Um, yeah, I can just go through this the normal way. Hide on the ladder, why not? Yeah, this is another one I get to test flipping. Oh, I think I flipped in the wrong spot, though. Not bad. Let's flip in a better spot. Like, where I can actually use the flipping to get more nuggets. I've decided they're called nuggets, even though they're called pixels in the game. Please, Mr. Space Invader Skull, don't rain death on me. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go... Up there and get some dynamite. And let's do some... Blowing up of stuff. Some creeping. And watch out for skull projectiles, because they will get you. There 
Yeah, this level's quite easy, actually. This one's a little more annoying. Ah, oh, they're firing very aggressively this time. I'll just hide under here so I'm safe. I'm not even gonna bother trying to flip on this one because it's not a big deal, I can just beat it the regular platformy way. Alright, so I didn't get it at first, but those little blue hovering glowing diamond shaped things at the top, they don't flip with you. Oops. And you can't pick them up when you're when you're in your shadow self. Uh, so you actually have to jump over that barricade at the top to get to them. You'll see what I mean. Oh, come on. No, no, not gonna screw me over this time, Skull. Flip. I got your number. See what I mean? Alright, this one I gotta pick up a whole bunch of pickaxes and be awesome. There's one. Let's go this side. Sweet. Oh, my jumping ability super small again. Sometimes you get sort of confused which side you're on in your real self. It can be a little disconcerting. Flip. And get that last pickaxe, and then I can head back up. And that should be enough to... yeah, I got three now. Uh, let's break through this wall right here. And flip. So now I've got some bombs to contend with. And some stupid skulls. I like that the game makes fun of the skulls, so they're kind of stupid. I mean, not as enemies, they're just kind of, like, actually stupid. Like, they're easy to fool. That was a poor idea. I wish they would explode and kill the skulls. Because they're stupid skulls. Oh. It did, I just had to get it dead on. Well, that's nice to know. I'm gonna guess that will, uh, factor into gameplay at some point in the future. I should be able to get the rest of these nuggets now. And I did. Alright, this one you gotta go back and forth a little bit. Oh, my jumping is a bit better than this uh, level. Watch out for the Space Invader lasers. Grab your Spirit Nuggets. I like calling them Spirit Nuggets, I think that's pretty cool. Don't screw me over, Skull. I'm gonna grab this stuff, and then I'm gonna grab the last one on- Oh, you've gotta be kidding. Go to hell, stupid thing. Probably came from hell already. What am I talking about? It's a skull. No! <laughs> I don't know why I find this level so confusing. It's really not that hard. It's like you have to- get your brain to accept this sort of, like, dichotomy relationship of, like, two things happening at the same time that are affected by each other. Oh, I missed one nugget. It's not very nice. There. Got all the nuggets. Let's just make it to the end. No. Oh, man, I'm gonna have to walk under the skull, don't I? Won't I? There we go. Oh man. Alright, we got shadow nuggets to worry about. We've got exploding bombs. Let's get all the nuggets we can first. Let's see what the, the suited man has to say. This was amazing plan, but something goes wrong. And the sign warning, mind pixels. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Ha ha ha.
Alright, as long as you know that these things have a one block radius in every direction, you should be pretty much fine. And they will activate in an eight-way directional from any block adjacent to it. Or is it... maybe it's actually two blocks in every direction. I think if you touch the border of a block that it is adjacent to, that counts. Alright, one more. Are you gonna make this difficult? I could probably just flip, right? But I didn't. I gotta do it the hard way, right? Let's mine these pixels out. That doesn't help me in any way. Nor does that. Alright, let's finish this off. Yeah! Whoa, crazy shit now. What's going on? This is an easy level, all you need is rotation. Okay, so this is... Oh. I meant to hit that once, I hit it twice. So this is uh, the point where the, the game is uh, stepping up its game. And you pretty much should have mastered the concepts by this point, I would hope. Uh, how do I grab that without blowing up? I mean, I get that this is going to work in both directions, but... What, do you have to teleport in the middle and you won't die? Guess not. Okay. I thought if you walked into those bombs you would immediately die, but they have a small period before they go off. Um, I'm going to need to be on the bottom of that, huh? That's fine. This is like a V V V V V V puzzle. Kinda. No! I knew what I was doing, don't give me that. Hurry up, platform. I'm impatient here. I've got important flipping things to do. And get towards the very edge. Make sure I'm clear this time before I screw it all up. Uh, how do I get back up, though? Oh, I need to flip when I'm... okay. Um... No. Oh! Is that really what I'm supposed to do? Flip it twice? Well... Regardless, you can't say that the game is uh, super easy, which is good, because it's a puzzle game, it's supposed to be difficult. Hmm. I thought if I flipped it again, gravity would kick me back down in the other direction. I must be missing something super obvious. I always am. As you guys have pointed out, I'm not super great at puzzle games, but I still love to play them anyway. Or actually, my default answer is usually, I'm not great at all puzzle games, some of them are better at than others. Like Luminez, I'm outstanding at Luminez, and to a smaller degree, Tetris. But those are more about spatial recognition, this is a little more complicated than all that. I could... See why that would really help. No. He doesn't go back down. Whatevs. I think I'm at the point where this is probably a good point to cut it anyway. So yeah, there's a whole bunch more levels. I'm sure stuff gets much more difficult as it keeps going. I'm curious to know how many levels. It seems like a lot. Well, good. It should be long. A lot of pickaxes in that one. So yeah, this is five bucks on Desura right now. Uh, seems like it's worth getting. I mean, you have to like this type of thing, and you have to not mind that there's two exits. Maybe one of them is uh, more exity than the other. <laughs> but uh, I, I would pretty much recommend this one. Yeah, I, I, I would recommend this one. It's fun. The, the aesthetics, the music, uh, the puzzles are clever. I think it's pretty much everything you could want out of a puzzle game. So, as long as you don't mind being a little mind-bended occasionally, you'll probably enjoy this. And there's the credits for you, who might 
be interested in knowing that the game is by Denis Grachev and the music is music is by Sergey Kosov. So thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the Facebook page, facebook.com slash indie impressions so you can stay up on what's new on the channel. And I will see you tomorrow with another. Later.